What's up guys, this is Rebecca the Diva coming at y'all with yet another video. Um, before I get into this video, if you are new, welcome to my channel. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. All I ask for you to do is please subscribe, hit that like button, share this video, and also leave a comment down below for your girl, okay? And for those of you who are not new, welcome back Diva Gang. Well, as you can tell, yeah, your girl at, back at it like a crack addict, okay, with another video for you guys today. Um, today is Monday, November the 11th. It is Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day to all of, the, of our vets out there that help serve this country. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, as you can tell by this video, this is a video about my jazzy life. Now, I had posted a little small one-minute video last night because I was watching her live and basically she was dry begging and wanted to start a GoFundMe, you know, to get help, you know, because she's going through such of a rough time financially. She wants to move and so on and so forth. You know, with my jazzy life, she has the world's smallest violin, you know, always got an issue, always got a problem, always complaining, always crying. This is always something with this girl. And last week she got on saying that a subscriber called CPS on her. And for those of you who don't know what CPS is, it's called Child Protective Services. Different states call it different things, BCW, DIFUS, the list goes on and on. Now, back many months ago, I used to work for Children Protective Services. And pretty much the guidelines are the same. They have not changed. Now, Miss Jasmine is saying that they text her phone and told her, oh, the case is closed, yada, yada, yada. And I personally have a hard time believing that story because number one, Children Protective Services is not gonna text your phone. They're not really gonna send a letter in the mail. They're gonna come and knock on your door or show up at your children's school or your children's babysitter, or wherever the case may be. That's the initial visit, okay? And then they're gonna come out to do a home visit, investigate the home, they're gonna question your children, they're gonna do the whole nine yards, okay? And after 30 days, they will close your case, but you have to go to court for them to even close out your case. And they're gonna give you the proper paperwork stating that your case is closed, okay? So, the story that you got on and told seems kind of fabricated to me, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But um, they're not gonna text your phone, baby. <laughs> no, they're not. You know, that's the nail. If you got a worker and your case is still open and you and your worker have that type of rapport with each other, yeah, your caseworker may text your phone and ask you, hey, you know, Mrs. Dukes, have you done this? Have you done that? Have you kept, you know, this, that, or you have an appointment? Yeah, but as far as texting your phone, telling me, oh, yeah, your case is closed and da-da-da-da-da, no, they're not going to do that. So, number one, come with a better story. Number two, let's just say you do have a, a child support case, even if it's low, um, not a child support case, um, child protective services case, even if it's closed, you can still call your worker up and say, hey, I'm having a hard time financially, I need to go get a job, but I don't have child care. They will pay for child care for you so you can go do job search, so you can't get a job. So, to stoop down to the level of getting on a social media platform and literally dry begging for money and you call yourself college educated, I personally feel it's a disgrace, not only to mothers, but as black mothers. Like, why would you do that? You keep saying, oh, no one understands. No one knows how hard, baby girl. You're not the only one with kids. You're not the only one with four. There's, there's females that are younger than you who have more kids than you or who manage to get it done. They get it done by any means necessary. You got to do what you got to do. 
you know, you got to swallow your pride and do what you got to do and stop worrying about somebody giving you something and stop worrying about somebody helping you because that's not the way of the world. You got to help yourself. Like the Lord helps those who help themselves. So maybe you should try helping yourself. And then you'll see that all your ducks are going to be in a row. But sitting on social media, belly aching and crying and talking about, oh, I can't. And oh, my mental isn't there. And oh, but and it's all in the same breath you threatening other YouTubers. I mean, where they do that at? Come on, girl, let's get it right. Everybody in this day and time got it rough some kind of way, even wealthy people with money and who don't have the struggles that I or you may have still got issues and still have it rough. So you got to come a little bit better and a little bit stronger. Because right about now, girl, you just looking real sad and real pitiful on social media. But that's all I got to say about that situation. Until next time, guys, peace out.